In this video, I'll be comparing Windows 11 to free Linux distros, as requested by many, that are CatchyOS, an Arch-based distribution, Nobara 40, a Fedora-based distribution, and PopOS, an Ubuntu-based distribution, in a few games by using the 4080 Super for the comparison. I'll do a follow-up using the 7900 XTX, so stay tuned. When it comes to Windows, I've used the latest NVIDIA display drivers, at least at the time of the recording, and made sure that all updates are applied. Moving on to CatchOS. On the screen now, you have the NVIDIA display driver, the kernel version, and some other useful information about the OS. Here is the Nobara 40 display driver version alongside the kernel and other OS information. Last but not least is PopOS. On the screen now you can see the display driver, the kernel version and some other OS information. I want to mention that for testing I didn't do any tweaks or special wizardry. What you will see is the performance that you will get out of the box after installing Steam, Latris, Wine and configuring G-Overlay for the stats. Another thing to point out is that the 9800XVD has PBO enabled with the curve set to minus 15 and a mild speed bump of 75 MHz. I'm putting on the screen now the memory timings and checking some memory tweaks in preparation for a future video, so subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to see that comparison. Before we move forward, I want to mention that I did a mistake and I deleted the wrong video for Nobara 40 and Catchy OS. You will see in the side-by-side -side runs that in some games on Linux the CPU speed drops to a bit above 4 GHz. In those scenarios I applied the performance mode plan and I want to say that the stutters didn't stop and the performance was the same even though as you can see on the screen the CPU speed sits at around 5.3 GHz. On Windows 11, MSI Afterburner can't read the CPU speed of the 9800XVD, so I'm using Hardware Info 64 to display the clocks, something that was not present in my 9800XVD stock versus overclock comparison video and some of you requested it. Before we have a look at the side-by-side -side runs, I want to mention that I used upscaling set to quality only at 4K. The settings used in the benchmarks are displayed as usual before the runs. I'm only showing 15 seconds of a longer test run in order to reduce the length of the video. The results obtained are the averages from 3 runs.
Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. For those that are colorblind, the first bar for each game contains the 1% low and average values for Windows 11. The second bar the results for catchy OS. The third bar Nobara 40's results, while the last one Pop OS's 1% lows and averages. Looking at the 1440p results with RT disabled, there is a clear winner when using NVIDIA GPUs, and that is Windows 11, as in most games it enjoys a comfortable lead. When it comes to finding a clear winner out of the free Linux distros, it's practically impossible. Catchy OS shines in Age of Mythology, outpacing even Windows 11, delivering the first ever Linux victory on this channel in gaming, at least when using a NVIDIA GPU. Unfortunately, it's not leading in any other game, with PopOS delivering small victories in Company of Heroes 3 and Alan Wake 2, while Nobara performed better in Horizon Forbidden West. In all other games not mentioned, the performance difference, if any, is within margin of error. I tested just a few games with ray tracing enabled, and as suspected at 1440p, Windows is the clear winner again. PopOS ran better in Alan Wake 2, but it was still under 30 FPS, a limit that I think makes a game just playable. When we move to 4K, we can see that Windows 11 delivers wins in every game. At this resolution, in Age of Mythology in Windows, the GPU is pushed to 100% utilization as opposed to 1440p, thus the victory. When it comes to the free Linux distributions, to be honest, I would say that there is a minor victory for PopOS and Company of Heroes 3 while it trails a bit the other distros in Horizon Forbidden West, Outcast A New Beginning and Warhammer 40k Space Marine Tomb. Catchy OS delivers victory in Outcast A New Beginning, while Nobara 40 didn't make any splashes, meaning that the games where it leads are within margin of error. Enabling RT at 4K paired with upscaling, we can see that Windows leads yet again by a good margin in all three games. Pop OS delivers better results than the other two distros in Alan Wake 2. The same happened at 1440p. I'm not sure why is this the case. As we just saw, Windows 11 is still the winner when gaming using a NVIDIA GPU. With that said, with the improvements brought by Valve to Proton, I think that the gap is narrowing between Linux and Windows, at least when looking at the games used in this comparison. When it comes to the best distro for gaming out of the three, it's hard to recommend one over the other. I want to mention that when it comes to catchy OS, I tried different kernel versions and there was no performance difference in games, but that was with the 7800X3D, not with the 9800X3D. I'm a bit surprised by the fact that PopOS managed to keep up with the other distros, as I was using a 9800X3D and the kernel was a bit older. It seems that by using the same Proton version, this bridged the gap, as it was using all the display drivers as well. Pop OS was by far the buggiest of them all. I suspect it's like that because of X11 as opposed to the other two distros that were using Wayland. To be honest, I'm not sure. I got screen freezes when changing resolutions. When using two displays, I was not able to disable one. And I was not able to change resolution in a few games when in full screen mode. The overlay UI was completely unusable at 4K. I could only use it at 1440p. 
Nobara 40 was good, the easiest distro to start gaming right away as everything is set up from the beginning. You have Steam and Lotteries installed by default, Mongo Hood and GeoVolley configured if you need to check your stats, everything is smooth. With that said, I encountered a few minor issues. When I was installing it, the screen keyboard was popping up even though I had my keyboard connected. Another issue that I had was with the resolution as on Pop OS. It didn't work properly when going from 1440p to 4K in full screen mode, while the desktop resolution was set at 4K. CatchOS was without issue, I never had any resolution or any other issue that can think of. All was good, at least with the default kernel and settings. And that's it for this video. It seems that with the help of Proton, Linux is catching up to Windows when it comes to gaming using Nvidia GPUs, but it still has ground to cover. With that said, newer driver improvements will follow, hopefully helping to narrow the gap even further, but only time will tell. I'm planning to check these distros using the 7900 XTX in a future video, so subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.